Hi everyone, today I want to record myself doing a Clash of Code competition in Coding Game. This is um, a very short competition that can last up to 15 minutes, where you basically need to code against up to 8 other developers in real time. And there are different kinds of uh, challenges. One challenge is trying to solve the problem the fastest possible way. Another one is trying to solve the problem and reverse engineer um, a solution. And the third challenge, the one I, I like the least, is writing the most compact amount of code. Okay, So not sure what kind of challenge I'm going to do right now because the system automatically generates the challenge, uh, one of the three challenges, randomly. Uh, but the goal is trying to be, you know, first, you know, so you get a lot more points and you can increase your ranking. So you can see there are 435,000 people playing on Cl Clash of Code and uh, my ranking is uh, 1,800. So I'm in the top 0.5% worldwide. I really, really love this uh, Clash of Code competition and I recommend everyone that is interested to, you know, keep their programming skills sharp and practice for coding interviews, uh, you know, this is this is absolutely awesome for, for, for that purpose. And also, you can choose the language you want to use. So if you want to practice a new language, this is also an opportunity for you to learn more about the syntax and try to get more fluent quickly, okay? I usually tend to use C Sharp, that is my favorite programming language, when I do uh, the fastest uh, competition or the reverse engineering competition. But I tend to use Python when I do the shortest possible code uh, competition because uh, Python is a lot more compact than C Sharp. There are other languages you can use, of course. So you need to also use the language best fit for the for the job. Okay, uh, when I click uh, join a clash, usually the system start to wait for few people to join. As you can see here, it's actually showing that there are some people already waiting there. And this competition, you can do as many as you want. They kind of run continuously every time. You don't need to wait for a particular date or time to start the competition. Just press join a clash and just keep practicing. So this is the potential. You can spend all your day doing this. Uh, obviously, it's quite time. It's quite brain. Um, it requires a lot of brain power. So obviously, I usually don't do more than 10 at the same time consecutively. OK, let's, um, let's try to do it. So I'm not, I'm not going to try to compete. Obviously, I don't want to lose my ranking. So I'm not going to talk as I do it, but what usually what happens usually when you click join a clash and you get into the you get into the arena that is a web um, kind of web, of a website where you can actually insert your code. On the left hand side you see this problem statement, and then on the right hand side you see the code, and you can actually type it, run some tests to see if you actually your solution actually cover uh, the, the test, and then you can uh, submit your code when you're ready. Okay, let's do it and see what happens. Okay, it's so going to start in 25 seconds. Let's wait for another few people to join, and then you should immediately get into the arena. All right, boom. Fastest mode, awesome. Right. Oh, uh, for some reason, I still have C selected. Okay, um, Python selected. Let's do this. So this was a fairly easy one, actually. Sometimes are more complicated than this. So I'm first. I managed to do it in 47 seconds. Uh, someone just a second after me did it. You can share your code so other people can learn from you. So if you, if you click view your code, you can show your solution. When you do the fastest mode, don't worry about removing, the, you know, making the code that looks good and so on. You just need to care about just getting something working as soon as possible. Um, some people can share their code that you can see and learn from them, especially when you don't, you're, you're, you're not first. So I can click on view code, and this is actually using C++, but it did something fairly similar to what I did. Um, and then you can specify, you know, how was this clash, if it was fun, 
uh, yeah, it wasn't that fun to be honest, too easy. Difficulty, honestly, was too easy for me. Statement was very clear though, test cases were very good, uh, so I can submit the feedback, and there we go. So obviously the competition is still going, there are some people are still trying to to do a solution and they, are, they have 13 minutes left to complete, but no, here we go. now it's complete because the last developer submitted a solution using Java and he's also shared his code, so you can see his Java solution as well. So this is a fantastic way also to learn other languages and to see how you know, similar code can be written in other languages as well. And that's pretty much it, so I, I got a notification, I'm rank 1 and uh, if you wait for the following day, you can see that in your profile you can see your global ranking and and see how you you know compete against all the other uh, millions of developers on the platform thank you very much for watching